hello and welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a 3d isometric arrow design in powerpoint and you can see here i have added three options here uh, with the icons and when i click it will just change the uh, border color something like this so let's see how to create this beautiful slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes under lines select the curve now draw the curve something like this like a wave i'm just going to make one then one more again it's going down and then it's going up so you have made this shape now what you have to do is right mouse click go to format shape under effects go to 3d format and increase the depth but here you'll not see any difference unless and until you come to 3d rotation and select isometric right up now you can see here the depth is showing so i'm just going to increase the depth more Just increase it as per your requirement and don't worry we can change this the appearance of the the curve if you want to change right mouse click go to edit points and then if you want you can just simply reduce it like this if you want to make it more curvy just you can play with this till you get the right combination of all right and then again let me just go again edit point i'll reduce the size so you can see here that my basic design is ready now so once this is done i'm going to increase the width of the line go to format shape outline weight you can increase like six points or six points is not enough you can increase further from here you can see here or maybe i'll just make it 16 points and then I can give a, a different fill shape for this. So I'm going to select a gradient line. I'm going to use four different colors. So first color, I'll make it somewhat uh, dark color or I'll use the dark color here. Then I'm going to use uh, maybe a purple color. Then I'm going to use uh, something uh, light orange and then I'll use some dark orange. Now it doesn't look good. So what we need to do is we have to just check how we want. I've just selected this, which is a linear left, the direction. And then you can adjust it. For example, I want this purple color should come more. So I'll just make something like this or this is too much dark let me just make it the same color and then you can go and play with this under 3d format a uh, material selection so i'm going to select the material which is a uh, transcurrent powder and then the lightning I'm going to select a flat so you end up getting a, this particular color and if you want you can increase the depth a little bit more also 
and here if I go and I can reduce the width to 15 because 16 looks uh, big now we have almost done with the design then I want to make an arrowhead for this go to insert shapes select a triangle draw the triangle and I'm going to fill the color with the color which we used here shape outline make it no outline and then go to effects under 3d rotation select isometric left down and this also you have to increase the depth and exactly place it here or we can see if we what is happening here if I select this so no I have to select only this and then if you want you can adjust it further with these options you can see here I'm just adjusting with this alright next I'm just going to change the background color of the slide for that go to solid fill and I'm going to select a dark color maybe yeah this color so then I'm just going to add some shadow effects before that select this both and press ctrl G and if you want you can tilt a little bit like this then adjust this also even you can change you can see it's more black also here for that also I can select I can go to effects and then I can select the material from this whichever material for example let me just select the lightning so it comes like this or if you want some different it will be like this all right and then if you see here uh, I cannot add any white border to that one to add the white border what I have to do is I have to just select this only copy control C and paste it here go to the line the effects and reduce the depth almost we have reduced the depth only two or two points we can keep and then I'm just going to change the the gradient fill with this I'm going to select a white color this also I'll make it some gray and then I'm just going to paste it here and then you can just say this bring to front or I can just ungroup this and then I'll bring this to front all right now you can see here that a good uh, a border with white effect has been created now it's time to add the icons here to add icons you can go to insert select icons for this you need to have an active internet connection and select any three icons of your choice maybe I'll select one two and three and insert it
and you can go and change the graphic fill to white and increase the transparency effect and place one by one so I'm just going to select I'll put one here I'll put one more here and one here now it's time to add the text to add the text go to insert text box just say 01 I'll make it white color and I'm going to set the font called Adobe Gothic STD center aligned if you want you can increase the size a little bit more and add some detailed text and then place it underneath of the option one and add one arrow to this I'll use any arrow and outline make it a light gray color select these three options press ctrl G to group ctrl D to duplicate so this will be 2 and this will be 3 so we have uh, completed our design if you want to give some animation you can give the animation to it thank you one more thing which I forgot to add here is the shadow effect to add the shadow effect go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape something like this and under fill select gradient fill and I'm going to select the type as a path and I'm going to delete all except two only I'm going to keep it so this one will be this side and this white color I'm going to select same as the background color and transparency make it 100% and this color I'm going to select black and you can increase the transparency for this also make it no outline and then put it this side and just rotate it control D add one more here control D add one more here and select all these three shadows and send to back so you can see here the shadow effect looks a very good a detail to the, the arrow so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.